Welcome to another Tech in a Sec. In today's video, we'll be comparing the Panasonic UB9000, which is their high-end player, versus their baby sibling, the Panasonic UB820. Each um, player will be run through the exact same HDMI input on the TV, which means the TV settings will be the same for both. Not only that, the internal player settings will also be the same for both. In this shootout, we'll be comparing 4K quality without HDR, 4K quality with HDR, and also 4K quality with HDR and HDR optimizer enabled. Also, the source material will be native 4K discs. At the end of the shootout, I will personally um, explain to you what I saw in case you, you can't pick it up through the video. Let's take a look and see how both of these players compare with each other. Job opportunity? Absolutely. You're gonna like this. <laughs> Sorry, I had to borrow some of your minions, but it was for a worthy cause. Oh, Kevin. Ugh. No, he's not Kevin anymore. Now, he is an indestructible, mindless, killing machine. <laughs> Just watch this.
That was the comparison. In my opinion, I feel the UB820 is miles and miles and miles better for your everyday user. The UB9000 is the premium product, build-wise, look-wise, and even feature-wise with its XLR and analog output, superior analog output. But for your everyday consumer, if you're not going to use any of that, save your money and go with the UB820. Not only that, UB820 actually surprised me when I was feeding it 4K native con um, content without HDR. It actually surpassed the UB9000. That is my conclusion guys, but please feel free to leave your comments below and tell me what you guys think. Also, um, <clears throat> if you like what I'm doing in this channel, please like, subscribe, click the, um, that bell icon button so you know when I'm dropping new content and let me know if you want me to review anything. Thank you. I would also like to add for all my viewers out there if they are able to send me an image of their setup where I'll be picking a few and featuring them on this channel where we could discuss the setup as a whole, what's the primary use for it, um, the um, speakers that you've used, subwoofers, AV receivers, if it's catered for 5.1, 7.1 Dolby Atmos. Um, my email will be listed down below um, and please feel free to contact me and tell me if you want anything else or if you want any help with your setup. Thank you.